Mike Brown with Applied Engineering. Um, today I'm going to be showing you 2009 What's New Features. A um, couple things before I get started. First is that I have the um, Inventor Professional package. Also I'm using a 3D Connection mouse to rotate things around so if my rotation is a little bit different than what you're normally uh, used to, that's why. So what you see on my screen here is a HTC, it's a floor polisher. It's a very high-end floor polisher. You can see it's a fairly complex machine. On top of that, you know, I have a fairly large system open here. Um, not maybe in like the front head. I don't need all my components to be in great detail. I just want to utilize them and uh, reference them. So, one thing to do would be to go into my my front assembly here. You can see right now I have 218 components open. Well, I want to come in. I want to open up my my front uh, polisher here. And you can see that it's there's 31 components contained within this front polisher. Well, what I want to do is I want to create a new level of detail that takes these 30, 31 components and turns them into one single component. So there's a new tool called New Substitute. I can drive from my assembly. I'm just going to call this my head front. And I have this box that pops up, which allows me to include my components in this um, scale factor, or if I want, I can exclude some of these components. Since there's only 31 components in here, I have no problem including all these. So I'm just going to go with my default and click OK. So it's going to take a moment here, but what you're going to see on my screen, it went from 32 to a single, or 31, excuse me, to a, a single component by changing this to a new level of detail. So once this is done, you can see in my box here, I have a new level of detail created. So I'm just going to go back into my larger assembly here of all my heads. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new level of detail. I'm going to call this new level of detail light. And then I'm going to want to come in and change some of the levels of details of these heads I just created. So if I go into my representations, my level of detail, you can see that new substitute that I created. You can see that it turned it from 218 down to 186. I'm just going to pick another one here. Again, then turn that down now to 154. So by creating these substitute levels of detail, I'm able to reduce the amount of components that are opening up in this assembly. Um, less components are open, the faster my computer is going to run. So if I close all this and go back into my master assembly here, earlier I'd created the same thing, but I chose, broke these down to some bigger components, the front, the back. And I was basically able to turn this into four different um, substitute levels and I'm able to turn this down from 452 components and now bring it down to four components. So this is just going to take a moment here. So you can now see that I still have the same um, visibility in all my features that are in here, but I've now created four main substitute levels of detail, and I only have four components open in this assembly. 